In a year of uncertainty. I'm worried for both possibly being infected with the virus. And months of time spent adjusting to a new normal. The COVID-19 pandemic now brings voting concerns to the forefront of the 2020 general election. I'm not crazy about the mail-in vote because it's never been proven to be um, something that you can rely on. Absentee, no problem. It's always worked before and I think around here locally it'll be fine. I decided to put mail-in voting to the test by sending letters to myself. Our experiment started right after the primary election. We went on the website, requested the ballots, we got it in the mail, was able to do it. was just such an easy process. We were like, oh, wow, this is great. That's the election Teresa Barnhart says she and her husband sent in their ballots by mail. About a month and a half ago, we got a letter that one of our ballots wasn't taken. It wasn't received in time. It was received too late, and so it just wasn't counted for that vote. Sent at the same time in the same mailbox a week ahead of the runoff election, but only one of two of their votes counted. Letters in hand. 393 of them to be exact, I drove to 131 drop box locations scattered across the metro, delivering three mock ballots in each with my return address to see how many would come back. Just the day after sending the first letters off, letters started showing up in my mailbox. And within one to three days of mailing all 393, USPS delivered them all. Oklahoma ranks in the top 10 of safety of our voting process. We're a model state for other states, in fact. Unlike other states, Oklahoma has been doing absentee ballot voting for years, allowing any Oklahoman registered to vote the right to request the ballot by mail. Something both the Oklahoma Democratic and Republican chair people touted. I have never lost faith in um, our U.S. postal workers, you know. I grew up on the post office. I, I believe in them. David McLean said mail-in voting risks are more concerning in other states. I think the biggest issue right now is that that for other states is the fact that they're trying to go to the universal mail-in ballot uh, system 90 days or 60 days before an election. Uh, that in of itself would be mass chaos. If Oklahomans choose to send an absentee ballot this election, each one will have a barcode. It is tracked um, and then but what really makes it most secure is the fact that either you have to have a copy of your driver's license or it has to be notarized uh, as well to prove that uh, to prove that that ballot has been assigned to that voter. Your ballot is safe. No one knows if it's a Democrat, Republican, Libertarian or Independent ballot until they get ready to count. And both suggest if you're mailing in your ballot to send it in as soon as possible. Do that in a very timely manner. As soon as you get the ballot, Get it returned immediately. That's the advice. Alicia Andrews says the counting process is public, and if you're worried whether or not your vote has been counted, she says you can go to the Oklahoma State Election Board to find out.